All right, the time came for me to finish uh, in respect to the visit to father on October the 22nd, 2023. I visited one uh, and it was um, no interesting situation that is developing according to NK Ultra scenario. Um, I am going to give you a feedback on what police wanted to accomplish from this at the end of this video. The first thing I want to do is I just want to concentrate on translation of audio uh, from Slovenian to English. At my disappointment, now at, that's interesting, uh, my audio recorder, a backup audio, actually a main audio recorder, somehow was dismantled. Uh, it did not record. And uh, I have no idea what to think about it. Uh, because the male nurse made fun of himself that day. Uh, it was really helpful to have second backup audio recorded audio recorder turned on, thanks to which I have managed to preserve uh, well the right to state what I have to state in respect to this video. So I'm going to give you a translation of what I suggested already on October the 23rd of 2023 uh, was a visit to father during which it became evident that hygiene issues are now being used uh, to play with definitely with the father And they also attempted to use this kind of stuff on me, basically through the through father. Now, uh, who is at fault about this stuff? I'm going to be discussing at the end of this video. Uh, psychiatrist Peter Tapsch. I'm going to be discussing about the psychiatrist Peter Tapsch. Uh, police, which enforced not only participated but enforced this crime against me, and I am going to be talking about. Home for Elderly in Novo Mesto on general. I'm going to be talking to you about the staff, about the employees that did this kind of stuff. But I'm not going to concern myself with this stuff right now. The first thing I want to do is I want to go over uh, and point out what are the main dots for me to touch. And then if you don't feel comfortable with my translation, you are very welcome to use your own. Uh, but that is as far as I can go. I lost a lot of time with visits to father. It is time consuming. And Slovenian state would like to excuse its genocide against me through negotiations. Uh, what exactly, what kind of negotiations? I'm going to tell you about this more when I end the translation, but they envisioned would pull me in some kind of a mental game uh, through a really, really nasty um, criminal setups, which are nothing other than a follow up in real time on what took place prior. And that was a torture beginning when it comes to home for elderly people. It commenced in 1993. I did find myself on the father's bed where you see the father in that exact same room staying in the bed even for one month at the time tied to the bed, tortured by the staff from home for elderly people, right in front of the eyes of the police, with 
frequent visits, of course, and stay with the psychiatrist Peter Kapsch. It was also my father that will visit, and so on, and so on, and so on. But let's go and let's continue with this procedure. They want it. Uh, they believed for most are going to connect enough dots. In other words, obtain enough proofs to deliver me to the court and through the court admit they are wrong. The initial attempt of the Slovenian state was to get me eventually out of Slovenia, whatever it would take. Uh, the Ukraine was a big one on that matter. Uh, when I was suggested to read MK Ultra, or you jump in a car with us and you disappear, or they are going to destroy you, and it was a whole palette of all kinds of issues they rain on me. Let me make something clear to you. Um, <laughs> this is not what it used to be the case with me in the past. Uh, I am unwilling to accept any kind of apology from whomever within the Slovenian state, whether that be a state official, whether that be a private, whoever observed this stuff from Slovenia, from Slovenian point of view, uh, you are not going to intermediate this thing between me and Slovenian state. This will be done through international authorities, through involvement of international authorities in this case, which are going to, next to me, supervise this investigation procedure. That's how this stuff is going to be done. Actually, excuse me, enforced. There will be no Slovenian police that will be excusing, investigating themselves, apologizing, and uh, finding its awkward into the futures, into the future through this case. We are done with it. I do not allow uh, what I was told it's going to be Hmm. All kinds of issues. I'm going to be discussing at the end of this video what they have anticipated I would go for. It's out of the question. Any, any, any stuff like that. Um, I'm going to be not helpful. It doesn't pay off uh, to take that route. Finally, I pity British royals to have pushed me for 51 years on behalf of Slovenian state through corruption, literally in the United States of America even, where they stalked me. Uh, literally into a suicide issues. For 51 years, you have been choking me. And it's not funny. You're trying to excuse yourself, apologize yourself in absolutely any way uh, with those whom you have represented in genocide against me is just a bad mistake on your part, not mine. The further you go and the worse it's going to get. I don't care to deliver you the proof about my being paranoid schizophrenic. I don't care, but the people that participated in this will get the proof about you. Yeah, yeah, you get it. You get it. I already explained what this stuff is all about, what it was all about for 51 years. So this video pertains to what you see here. This stuff here I published on see right there, it says Monday, October 23rd, 2023, during visit 
it 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 uh, it became evident that the employees of the home for elderly people uh, since the situation with my father previously already involved uh, this kind of clothing that you see here. This color, exactly this color, I already won before. You have to go over the blog. I'm not going to be doing all that stuff. But I have stated and written down. Whenever it will be this kind of clothing, this color of jumpsuit, on a surface, therefore, whenever my father would be dressed in this kind of jumpsuit, it would be always for him having full pants of uh, diarrhea. Basically, shit is what I'm trying to say, excrement. My statement, which for which I already have proof, I have proven this already before have taken place, exactly identical to the situation. What I was also, I searched uh, for assistance to have him uh, cleaned up before sleep is already confirmed. I have video recorded, I audio recorded, whatever that is, uh, might have a few other videos that I submit about the father, maybe just two videos earlier or whatever, but it is. That's one proof I'm going to tell you that they are playing with what are laxatives. Laxatives are relievers. It's the type of medicine that can treat constipation, but this is not about the treating constipation, but it more over, this is what one of the residents from home of elderly people mentioned me, and I also audio recorded one. Uh, at this home for elderly people, they are using laxatives. They are actually abusing laxatives. They are playing with it. They're not logging down when they do give certain things to the people. And they are abusing these things. They are using them more frequently than what otherwise they should. So the jumpsuit of the color that you have seen right there and my statement, which was given to me by one of the residents at this home for elderly people, and it's audio recorded, all that's all on tape, confirms what is it? Evidently, it's a play with father is... Um, not constipation issues, but forcing him into having problems with, with his bowel, with his intestines and so on. It's overused, it's misused. And I am stating this because, interesting enough, my mother that day, and that they earlier have stated me during the visits, it's also all audio recorded, that my father is doing very good, that he is fine, that he is okay. But when I mentioned her the next day, this issue, she stated to me that he did not use the restroom for two days. Now, nobody told me that anybody gave him any kind of laxatives. I supposed they did, and I 100% was correct about it. So I don't kind of a, I don't like play with this kind of suit to begin with. I don't like this kind of stuff. I don't like being exposed to the stuff like this. And I'm going to be very specific here. I don't like the employees of this home to stick their nose in my business, in the stuff I do. Uh, just as I stated earlier, I do not appreciate this problems. Uh, 
by demanded from Slovenian states to recognize uh, what was done to me in respect to MK Ultra already in 2010. And Slovenian state instead proceeded together with the British royals, with West, with the Hollywood, with uh, people that were involved in it, to cause me more harm, to cause me more damage. And eventually they worked on destroying me since I left the United States of America in 2006. That's when they wanted to just rip me apart. Uh, my giving them the taste of MKL in 2010, when I mentioned it for the first time in my life, uh, in Karls, in Sweden, uh, did not stop them. They instead decided they're going to throw me into the psychiatric hospital, cause me physical harm, cause me liver, cause me kidney damage, cause me finally other damages as well, use me for more torture, cause me more problems. create a criminal dossier on me, criminal record on me, in which they claimed, with assistance of the man you see right there, and my family members, such as my niece, my sister, that I have committed the physical violence to properly express myself, because apparently, Domestic violence, according to the Prince Charles, now King Charles, is not it. And most of the people would not understand. So that issue, too, was negotiated by the Prince Charles, now King Charles, to be seen rather from domestic violence, since domestic violence it is. This is domestic violence. Domestic is whatever it is inside of the home, domestically. Domestic means family near you, whatever is near you. Either your wife, your mother, your father, your sister, that's son, daughter, that's domestic. Physical violence, that's something completely different. There are many categories of the physical violence, but this issue, as I stated right now, is completely equal to the British royal misinterpretation to the, of the right to exist and the right to the self-determination, which they also misinterpreted, which is like the worst crime. I find this is the worst crime through the Wikipedia founders, exactly in the same fashion. They demanded to be misinterpreted as the right to exist a volunteer is a voluntary sacrifice of an individual for the benefit of the society, basically of his whatever he whomever he wants to benefit. And that's how they have interpreted genocide against me, uh, which was it's a genocide, all right? This isn't never ever was given with any permission would take place against me. They twisted lies, they twisted lies, and they started to turn around Wikipedia laws, uh, definitions of the laws, and so on. They falsified entire internet whenever it concerned my case, whenever they observed the words, the use of words I used, the definitions, common sense, logic, they knew it's going to come to that's greater than Great Britain, sad enough to say. Temporary or permanent, I am not going to let through. Self-determination, they interpret it, rather applies to the nations and not individuals, as per inquiring, demanding to be treated as a members of the society equally to other members of the society. This is disgusting because I know what the right to marry according to your preferences 
means across the border the right to employment across the border even based on a citizenship which yet again was avoided destroyed annihilated by the british royals i know what it means the right to self-determination when they crash absolutely everything around you they turn into the ash and i know what it means to violate the right to exist i know what genocide is i'm not crazy it's exactly what the words are but yes you can misinterpret them you can also say that bananas are apples let's go to this issue here because i'm very miserable when i think about how much time i lost on something that never ever should take place The audio recording I'm going to concentrate on right now, it's long, one hour and 10 minutes, just about. What I'm going to do is at the end of this, as we go along, all right, I am going to take, I'm going to leave this here. You will have to bear with me if you want a translation of this. I frankly, don't know even why I'm doing it. I'm losing time with this stuff. Nothing else on that. As for the help from the United States of America, um, it's a burden of the terrorism I'm dealing with. When it comes to Hollywood, when it comes to US Congress, and when it comes to White House. And it lasts already for 51 years, what makes things disgraceful for the country that refers to Hamas, rightfully so, as terrorist organization. But in my case, far worse than Hamas. And talking about the government of the United States of America, this is disgrace what you have done. So I appear here. Uh, what the time is, I don't know. Maybe about 15 minutes or so to uh, to 8 o'clock. Uh, excuse me, to 7 o'clock. Now they close. This day they close at they close earlier. This day they close at 19:45. Pay attention to this. So I probably entered this facility at between. Um, 18:30 hours or 18:45 hours, more or less, something like that. All right, so let's go. I go to the entrance. Hello, hello. So I go up. I'm gonna give a separate audio. Oh, yeah, you can play with that stuff. But I just want to concentrate on this stuff as fast as possible. The first thing I want to note is that once up on the second floor, I noticed there was a lot of personnel on that Sunday, the 22nd, October the 22nd. It, uh, it was close to 1900 hours, as I stated, and based on what I see, it's when they change shifts. It was a shift change, and therefore I have seen a lot of people there. Um, in very short time, all these people disappeared, including the people who came to replace, uh, who, who came to make a replacement, the workers who came to replace the earlier shift. Um, so I say hello, they say to me hello, I proceed toward the room, uh, and here I am, I enter the father's room. Here, uh, this is upstairs. Here are the nurses, uh, assistants of the nurses, uh, cleaning stuff. I say hello. 
Good evening. You say hello. Good evening. I proceed. As I enter inside, I do not feel comfortable with it because I can smell things. It does not make me comfortable, uh, this stuff here. Um, for a better illustration, I'm even going to use this thing here. It's going to be easier to follow. Cheers. This is now me inside the room of the father. Earlier, you have heard me, me on a hallway to the nursing staff. I'm inside of the room. I check what's going on. I want to see what's, in, what's happening. Uh, before I go into anything, I, I check the room, basically. I, I, I briefly see him. I, I want to note absolutely everything, whatever I can see, basically, uh, that will make a difference on a long term. I position the camera and... Uh, I go to him to see basically how we are doing, what's going on, what's new. Uh, it doesn't take much for me to smell. Uh, it smells badly inside of the room. It actually stinks. Um, father is moving his jaws back and forth, uh, and also a hand. It appears to be um, rather giving me an impression of... Uh, Whatever you want to call this. Uh, now, uh, this is where the problems are located, at, and these are the problems that Slovenians anticipated will be used to develop something else out of this case. Uh, eventually, we'll get opportunity to um, cut their own story again, and that's exactly what they did already in the past. They just, you say white, and they say black, and so on and so forth. Uh, basically blatant disrespect for the law, for the treaties, for absolutely everything which is supported from the Brussels, from the Strasbourg, from the European, uh, not court for human rights only, but European uh, ombudsman for human rights, uh, and of course, United States of America government. I say hello, good evening, this, that. I see this is going to be already interesting. Uh, what I can note is father is moving his legs. I don't know what's going on. Uh, it's the kind of stuff I was told. For this attitude, what I was told by my father, and this is very important to note, I don't know how much you want to see yourself in it. My father stated me a few things I want to clarify with you right now. And I'm going to clarify more as I go along. I will not be talking to you at all. Those are the words of my father during MK Ultra torture, which he exercised against me on several occasions. That's very insultive that he's not going to be talking to me. Uh, you are going to be talking to me, basically, that I will be talking to him, basically, were the instructions. And it was all kinds of gimmicks that involved all kinds of issues on how I'm going to be playing with him, showing him uh, newspapers, magazines, playing him videos. That's exactly what my neighbors Andre Ur and other people whom police have hired to do this stuff were doing with me whenever they hijacked me, trafficked me to this home for elderly people over the course of what? A decade and a half for sure. They would bring the laptops and a father would be inside of the bed. 
and they would entertain one and they would have me sit next to him showing him movies, encourage me on how I have to play with him, how I have to be playful, interact with him, show him a magazines, uh, a fishing magazines, hunting magazines, and so on and so forth. Nobody mentioned to me, all through, it did took place during MK Ultra torture, that father would go and even smack me in my face, that I will be dealing with somebody who is going to be returning nasty attitude, dirty tricks, accordingly with what previously was enforced against me through the torture. A uh, father who stated will not be talking to me, that I will be talking to him, uh, bring about also conspiracy. You're going to see him like pointing me in his ears and stuff like that. Um, something for which he insisted during MK Ultra uh, will be the device which they would implant, however, would be hidden deep inside of his ears. And I would have a great difficulty to access one. Well, you know, uh, now I'm going to put it this way. Now, I want you to pay attention to me so that you understand what kind of situation, what Australian police is doing. Uh, the employees from this home for elderly people, the staff, members, the workers, my mother, mm, the way they came, the way they approached the father was basically like this. Uh, they would take a hearing aid and they would try to put one inside of their ear. And in the whole thing, it appeared that it disturbed him. And I don't blame him for it because it was all kinds of play with it. Sometimes the battery did not work. Uh, other times it was uh, with a dirt inside. So it wouldn't make any difference, the hearing aid. I don't, I don't blame one. Sometimes playing, they would stick him inside of the ears uh, in an ear channel that would hurt him. I understand that. I get it. This stuff is unpleasant. Contrary to this, I, however, was very professional and would always come to him and say, look, daddy, this is a hearing aid. We are going to be talking to one another if you allow me to put this inside of your ear. And as I would try to stick inside of his ear, sometimes it all depended what he needed to do with me. He would allow, on other times, he would even violently react in exactly the same fashion, same way as to what my mother, a, a staff from prior to this place, he was at a general hospital, have demonstrated me together with father is something as normal and it should be therefore just accepted like nasty attitude it should be just okay it's not okay but that's how they trained me since i was six months old in continuation you're going to hear me in part number two i confronted father with issues which pertain to keeping the house in the city previous house warm at the request of my father, at the request of my aunt Minka, who also used to live with us. Aunt Minka, contrary to what my mother claims, used to live with us. Uh, it all depended. Uh, sometimes, and I know so, because sometimes she would even stay for six months. Two months, six months, a whole month. She had an apartment in Bistrica, yeah, that's on the other side of Slovenia where the truck ran her over at the pedestrian walk, excuse me, not truck, a, a, a vehicle. Nobody wants to talk about that stuff. Uh, however, at age two, when I was two years old, she would uh, more than cut the stay in our house, would really, really reduce one, but still pay visitations. And also because both with my father insisted that when my father obviously was age two, that he was already taking care of the furnace with a coal, that he would be heating the house, taking care of all those issues. Um, 
it's what other kids are doing everywhere is what I was told when I was two, three, four years old. Uh, and something that was wrong with me that was so disappointing. Uh, and then again, when I was 20 years old, 30 years old, 40 years old, mm. contrary to what I stated earlier, I was also seen as a dangerous to be trusted a chainsaw so that I could do work on the garden, uh, dangerous to be given uh, machinery, a plow, so I could plow the field. Uh, fresa, I don't know how you say that, but you can uh, soften the, the ground. Uh, cultivator, I don't know how you say that, to cultivate the land, basically, prior to planting uh, whatever you, where is it you want to do, are dangerous to have access to his workshop. Imagine this. He is a fishing technician. He knows a lot about the fishing. Yes. Uh, that kind of stuff. And I'm a mechanic, mechanical engineering technician, but not allowed basically to touch uh, a drill machine, uh, uh, the thing to cut uh, I don't know how you say that right now. Uh, basically, bullshit. Uh, repeatedly acknowledge me is basically dangerous to myself. Like, fucking insane, in other words. Be careful. Uh, not a, Never allow me to approach to the furnace in the house. Uh, never with a mommy. Never allow me. Treat me like a complete complete user idiot like with an IQ of 50 or something like that like I would go and could the whole house could burn uh, or God forbid where the oil reservoir is uh, that I would come close maybe I would leave the whole fucking house up or something this is how my father treated me it started when I was two years old when I should take care of the whole fucking house and then when I was 20 in my 20s and up, uh, it appeared that I was so crazy that I shouldn't be absolutely anywhere, uh, and so on and so forth. You know, I should be just picking up the stones, uh, watching him, how he is going with machinery, uh, The whole village was laughing at that, but it doesn't matter. And pick up the branches that uh, he would cut uh, to, to groom his trees and pick up the apples so he could have for his hunting uh, pigs and stuff like this and that kind of stuff. That's how it was here. Uh, and I didn't find this kind of attitude uh, helpful, really. Uh, even more so now during this kind of, I don't know how to refer to this degree of crime uh, when I need to complete the complaint to move on with my life. I'm almost 52, I'm going to be in December. If this isn't disgusting, I don't know what it is. Uh, so I am now wasting time on issues like this. So. I don't know, he's gonna get paid commission. I don't know what he's trying, I don't know what he's up to other than to fuck me even more in my life. I don't know. This is is what I can tell you about my father. Um, the hearing aid, he doesn't want, he doesn't hear me when I come. Uh, the hearing aid, when I offer him, he does not want. Uh, he would want one. Uh, he would go like, what is this? And then when you would show him this and, and you, you put the pattern inside, you prepare something, you want to put him, insert him in, in his ear so he could hear you. It's like, like this. So I don't know what kind of attitude. I don't know what the fuck is this other than fucking around. Uh, like taking it to extra. Mile uh, for psychiatrist Peter Cup, Slovenian police to have more say, basically. Uh, 
coming up with some bizarre statements suggesting on how I am going to be running and all kinds of stuff like that. No, I would not go and see if my father have a deep implant inside of his ears, which he bagged me. He made a whole fucking conspiracy during that Ultra to do, that I have to do, that this is what I have to do, but I'm not going to be able to see and this and that. It's a sick shit. It's a sick shit because of which my father blamed me at age four, I destroyed my grandfather. Uh, that's basically his father. He threw his father, his own father, at my age four into the home for elderly people in Maribor, where his father, my grandfather, was beaten up. I told you, my grandpa got Iron Cross during the world, First World War from Austrian Hungarian Empire. And he got the highest reward for bravery from Yugoslavia, from Belgrade, during for his uh, for, during the Second World War for his sacrifice, saving people. Uh, and well, I was the one who was blamed for uh, throwing him in at age four throwing him, destroying him, throwing him into the home for elderly people, where, however, my father, who would again take me, and where the beatings were not only taking place against my grandfather, but also against myself, many, many, many years after my grandfather already perished, sorry, my, my grandfather passed away when I was age four, uh, but... Uh, this is uh, this is a serious mistake I've just made, and I've been doing this stuff for some time, saying this stuff. Uh, he got rid of him already earlier at age two. Uh, what is very important to note is that once he got him in the home for elderly people in Maribor, where they would abuse him, uh, he just couldn't do anything anymore. He tried very much to save him, but he, he couldn't save him anymore. It was too late. It was people that were involved in it. And for that matter, again, I was guilty. So this is how my father have skated throughout the life and is now in that gray green costume uh, at will of the Slovenian states, Slovenian police is being used basically for his crime river intestines. Uh, they do basically with 91 year old men as to whatever they want. A man who always claimed everybody, I'm mentally ill and have encouraged people in getting involved in MK Ultra through promising them, claiming them in front of me during an MKUltra that I'm mentally ill and they have nothing to fear, they would lose. Men whom I pay, continue to pay visitations, and I shouldn't say men, but the, to the mental illness I continue to pay the visitations to, despite everything he have done against me and what became evident have managed to bring entire family to it, basically. And of course himself, it must not be very pleasant to be under this kind of stressful circumstances at age 91. Uh, must be horrific. This is basically what I also explained him in continuation, his disease had brought entire family and him. Uh, with so many chances he got, so many options, he went on to choose his preferred. I would not exclude that he is enjoying it, literally. Psychiatrist Peter Kapsch insisted, however, with police director Jana Zogolin, that's interesting, excuse me, 
psychiatrist Peter Kapsch insisted that would get me whenever I would obrachunati with the father would direct to father a concerns they knew that there is a lot of concerns to discuss these are all the issues that we could never discuss before because there was no opportunity i told you i grew up in an environment where the teachers would encourage for me to say mk ultra and would accord me to examples of to what they have done to other children just kill me on a heartbeat. You know, it, we, we had an agreement that the game is such that if ever I would dare to respond to the calls as per something is happening next to the real life, uh, I would just take the hard line as Donald Trump says, bit the bullet, uh, go straight through the psychiatry as a child and ended up dead uh, before even reaching the fourth grade. Basically, they wanted to eliminate me. They were using all kinds of children, other children, uh, some to provoke, to get the word out of me and get a conversation going about MK Ultra and those kind of issues knowing that it would be just, this was in Yugoslavia, and this was just really a super highway to get, for you to get killed. Um, we had our own psychologists, we have our own psychiatrists coming in the school. Uh, we had incredible world in Yugoslavia where I was growing up. Uh, it was quite, quite incredible, something I already have discussed about. Um, anticipated that I would start to have arguments with the father and it would be used at police at large to video record me, audio record me and uh, build a case against me. Something that just did not somehow went along. Uh, yeah, till father just recently have committed something disgusting, according to MK Ultra, which was even uh, started to claim that first, just like with the hearing aid, with all these issues, he wanted to do the exercise. And according to MK Ultra, brainwash from psychiatrist Peter Kopp, I was, if ever given the opportunity, to give him the opportunity because he's going to have to be rehabilitated. And you don't know how long this is going to take. And he's going to have to do this. And you have to take the time to do this with him every day. And you have to do this and you have to do that. If only your father would get this and he would get uh, uh, interested in exercise. And don't miss the opportunity. And that, 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 that. Uh, this is basically how it goes. Yeah. So uh, father wished for standing up, exercising, um, and basically breaking my spine, making the statements which he did, such as that he had wounds all over the body, uh, screaming, yelling uh, for my not only offering one to help and exercise, but because it was late hour, I had to put one back in the bed and he would not want to go back in the bed. He made a scene together with that staff from the home for elderly people started to yell screen make claims eventually such a claims that it grabbed the fucking camera and opened his shirt which is interesting when i started to video record a criminal he would not allow me to make sure with a camera in my hands to video record that he does not have any kind of fucking wounds despite him alone instructing me during MK Ultra, that I have to do this or I will be found guilty of whatever they would do to him. So do you like this kind of song? Do you want to go and you want to visit this kind of father and you want to treat somebody like this with so much respect, that it's so much stuff to you? Um, you see, the thing is, I do not 
because he does not deserve one. But then at the same time, I feel pity for this man. Uh, I feel pity for this man. I feel pity not for this man because there is no man. There's just a piece of mental illness right there in front of me that fathered me and did not know any better. It's a pity. It's a sadness. Uh, and it's in a complete agreement with Slovenian state, which you can see doesn't have any mercy, uh, is doing with him at please whatever they want to do basically to they're using it like a like a drone basically like a like a self-destructive drone uh to somehow reach for whatever is no longer available to them according to their own words since 2017 when i proved this morons without any doubt with audio proofs with the people whom I have identified, locations whom I have identified, a number of that MKUltra in fact existed. And rather to go confess, admit, they wanted to turn the case around and at least get something in it that it would deliver me through the court and would give me even some kind of recognition, basically admission to uh, you know, psychologically, basically negotiate with somebody they destroyed 51 years of life. Uh, psychiatrist Peter Kopsch yesterday was 22 years old man with diploma, psychiatric diploma in his hands. I think I was just 11. In 2020, this criminal claimed to me that he is about to retire or probably not even complete the whole thing when he's going to be already retired. He probably already retired. He was just retiring in 2019, 2020. He was making fun of me. He was making fun out of depression. Ridiculed me with, I think it's a Radio Kirka or whoever posted that. He had his journalists negotiate with them what they are allowed to post on uh, the internet and whatnot. So the excerpts, the excerpts of the video, which one came out as a complete Cretin, idiot, psychopath, sadist, laughing. They voided, they cut for him, they made them disappear. So you can never go wrong with the media like this. You can't go wrong with the media like this. Now, this is the kind of picture we are talking about. We're talking about the criminal, hardcore criminal, not one. It was not only a psychiatrist, Peter Kapsch, who finished, got his diploma and work on this crime against me to earn literally retirement. But it was the same shit with police investigators. I've seen them swearing uh, allegiance, uh, pledging her allegiance to Yugoslavia in other parts of the country. I would have to go and see this good for nothing, literally, pledge loyalty to dictator Josip Broz Tito, to the Yugoslavia, to the Serbs, basically, to, 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 to the occupation here, to the death, basically. And myself, who had absolutely nothing out of it than what I stated. Less than hell, basically. That's what it's sum summarized to. Let's go to the audio recording, and I like it because part of that stuff I already have clarified. It's the stuff I have stressed to my father on the part number two in respect to my grandfather, in respect to how he wanted me to uh, the furnace uh, in English is in part number two, in Slovenian is, part, in, is in part number one. However, this was made even more difficult, as I stated, just as I stepped inside of the father's room on October the 22nd, 2023. It was stinking the whole thing. And later on, I actually hear him saying, uh, 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 
because of these laxatives they gave him, uh, he now evidently have suffered uh, inside, and then it, all of a sudden it smelled even more, man. Uh, to make the story short, I went out there to look for somebody that would assist with a cleanliness issue so that before he would go sleep, just like I did with I, it was three times, four times, probably four times maximum, four times earlier. Um, I don't know what it was. At the end of the September, uh, beginning of October, when I also asked, he was also dressed in the same kind of jumpsuit, when I also asked a nurse, uh, assist the nurse to please uh, offer her help that I would like my father to be clean before he goes to sleep, uh, offer her also help, uh, and they nicely did change his clothing. Uh, obviously, which diarrhea just, as in this case, it become evident, was supported by laxatives. Um, my father, and I, I am, I am, I am fucking speechless because they allowed also the food to consume, which was not on his eating schedule. Imagine one connected to the feeding tube and being fed also with sweets and stuff like this, fruits and stuff like this that mother delivered to him. Uh, basically, exactly the same kind of recipe as it was done with me. Uh, it's forced down your throat, you don't want, but it's delivered, and eventually seeing that stuff will trigger you interest in it. You're going to start causing something that you don't want uh, <laughs> till your health deteriorates. If you're in this kind of condition, it will. And Or if you had suffered problems already before, those problems can be reopened through the certain issues which police have Reorchestrated on a million occasions during MK Ultra butcheries, not torture, but butcheries. I told you there were how many times, how many products they tested on me. Created literally a, a map of health problems, which they managed to create uh, and would become apparent in the future. They would just have a chart and it would go. Uh, 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 a kidney, a liver, a heart, uh, uh, this lymph node, that lymph node, uh, left leg this, left uh, that, and so on. Throw into environments which is not controlled, but you don't have any kind of right to exist in one, uh, like a fish in aquarium or lizard in terrarium, and basically implement their violence against you as pleased. And according to that violence, your body also responds to it. And so these are the issues that does not add up together in respect to my father when it comes to these issues, even that he wanted to do so. My father wanted to have it so. There's no doubt that my daddy wanted, my daddy was committed to his mental illness, basically, all the way. I did not have that kind of choice. They compelled me. They raped me into it. My father, however, did. It's important to notice that the two of us are completely different and don't have anything really common with one another other than I am taking care of my father best of my abilities. Not my father, but his mental illness best of my abilities so he can still have something out of his crazy life, other than full pants of shit uh, and what he does, whatever he does at that, at that home for elderly people. With his, you know, whatever they support in him is going to um, yield him. I don't know what he anticipates is going to yield him. I wasn't going to put this audio online because of issues which I stated, I deemed to be very, very actually 
not going along very well with his persona. He was so well known and he was with so many friends. Hello and this and that. How are you and this and that? And to me, it was always this. This is what it was in this beautiful city of the Novo Mesto where I was growing up and beyond. Bela Kraina, all over this place, entire region. Um, he always was a hero and I always was the bad one. I really don't give a shit. I don't care. Uh, it will make any difference. Uh, I, I don't give a shit. I prefer people thinking about bad about me. I don't give a because I don't give a fuck about what people think about me. How about that? If I thought about what people think about me, I would be gone already a long time ago. People didn't do shit for me. People did exactly opposite of what their purpose in respect to law is in this world when considering my case. So I don't care about what people think or not. I'm here to enforce the law because I don't have any other choice, because there is no law, for one thing. But these are important issues for me to state uh, so that you, you understand a little bit the background. Uh, I got a little bit lost right now. I'm not sure where exactly I was, but... Um, Psychiatrist Peter Kopsch believed it's going to make the environment, obviously, in which I am going to be losing myself till I will no longer know uh, basically what even I'm going there uh, for visits. I told you uh, it was a kind of manipulation involved. Maybe the biggest manipulation in English language that I discussed in part number two was from this individual here who was previously director of the Novo Mesto Police. Uh, his name is Yana Zogulin. I do have to present you this individual here. Again, Yanis Zogulin. This is maybe the most interesting individual in this whole case because uh, I already discussed about issues here, yeah, right? My father, uh, during anti ultra torture, they suggested all along that he does have a tube, a feeding tube. And whenever they would deliver me inside of the home for elderly people, they would literally bully me if I do not believe that he does have a feeding tube. Uh, they were bullying me on absolutely every issue, every pencil, everything that is inside of our house, if I believe or not, if I believe or not, if I believe or not. With the people that are so violent, did not pay off to argue. Because arguing with the people like this, the only thing that would happen is I would be taken on the side by police officer investigator, and he would start kicking me where they have created the injury on my left foot. Yeah? Or he would use, let's say, somebody like Nurse Yanko did this stuff to me on numerous occasions, or somebody else, whoever they would use. It would be kicking, it would be physical injuries for which they explained me what they were doing during MKUltra. It did not pay to argue. If they told you that he's got a feeding tube, it was just the best thing to, if, it's, if it was necessary, to even assume that he does have one. He never had one. But for the illustration purposes, for the, for the purposes of what they wanted to accomplish, uh, they demanded from me to see in father during the torture, already implanted a feeding tube during the torture procedures. That was what psychiatrist Peter Kopsch and this man enforced. Uh, my father insisted me the feeding tube, which they, this time, yes, for real, they did attach to his stomach because he declined to consume any food orally. Uh, my father claimed me he would use as a way out if he would feel that uh, is unbearable, that it's impossible for him to cope. 
uh, that uh, if I would be uh, causing him uh, a harm, uh, therefore making him nervous or whatever the case would be, uh, he would just go what also police, nursing staff from Home for Elderly, other people that were involved in it, they continually to brainwash me for at least no less than 15 years. Stuff I'm talking about started in 2005. Even the stuff with the feeding tube they involved in. Uh, and it did go all the way to 2020. So there you have at least 15 years of time feeding tube alone involved in this case. Um, it did not stop with my father only claiming me in respect to the feeding tube that it would depend on me. Uh, my father went on to insist me that he would even go and play nervous and if necessary, pull the tube out uh, for the police to take steps against me if I wouldn't be nice to him. As for the man that you see right there, this is a Yana Zogolin, director, previous director of the Novo Mesto Police Station. Uh, this guy was really interesting. Cookie. I want the picture with his name. No, there is already his substitute right there. Uh, what was interesting about this man, uh, you got his name, yeah? Uh, what was interesting about his name is, uh, about this man is, when it comes to the fitting tube, uh, eventually he insisted me, and I already have presented similar statements from the police, from the nurse Yanko and so on, they refer to other issues, um, he stated me in respect to the feeding tube, it, uh, it was not determined, however, yeah, and this is a statement he repeated me time and again, time and again. It was not determined, however, uh, like he would be writing the report, like he would be writing the police report. It was not determined, however, where it was he alone who pulled the tube out of the stomach uh, on his own, or he did so uh, because uh, he was driven crazy, insane by me. No? You get the point? It was not determined. When you say it was not determined to somebody that is dropped up, yeah, you're projecting him, obviously, a death of somebody. Obviously, in this case, this was, since it was done also in front of my father, obviously, this was my father whom this man had on his mind. Now, the second thing about it is that it was not determined where it was. He, uh, alone, who pulled the tube out, uh, or uh, it was obviously my actions, my behavior that drove father to the degree that he would pull uh, the feeding tube out of his stomach, yeah? So, obviously, whatever it would take place was completely contrary to the instructions of my father, who, however, insisted he would use the feeding tube to create the chaos right in front of me if I would bother him. But what uh, this director of Novo Mesto Police, previous director of Novo Mesto Police, uh, somehow did not quite understood involved a third person in this issue, yes? If I am not present, since he said it was not determined, and uh, police was not present, or whoever was not present, when his 
tube was pulled out of his stomach, and that no longer necessarily makes my father pulling the tube out of his stomach. It actually points out into the police murder. You get it? Because I was not there because father used the feeding tube threats only directed them it would be during my presence there uh, father uh, never indicated he would pull the feeding tube out uh, during my absence uh, but there was somebody else who contemplated on how to apologize a pulled feeding tube out of, out of the stomach of my father. And that was the man right there who played with me, insisting me that he was not determined. When you said he was not determined, you already have, when you make the statement like this, you already have indicated that you plan on murder. At least you plan on murder or you plan on a minimum like a fake death certificate, but no less than that. And because it wouldn't be my father who did this, but obviously it would be one of your people, a police officer, or police would have what is even much more likely, because they always do it like this, one of the employees from Home for Elderly People do this. Yeah, police will never do it. Police always investigate. It's always the right line, always right in everything. Everything they did, they always hired people, they always got third party in it, and they always observed from the side and enforced requests from the side, whatever they demanded to be done. Yeah. So this is a shoddy man, uh, very shoddy, no longer in the picture, but still on the picture. He did retire, but not in my book. Enough to let it go. Never will. So these are the issues I discuss in part number two, and it's the issues I'm not going to have to discuss now in this video. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the audio translation of, uh, from Slovenian to English, and I'm pretty much done. I, I have fulfilled my, uh, my task of this video. If something comes along that needs need to be added, do it, I will do it. But right now we are doing really well this year. We're just gonna continue. So what's happening is the room stinks. The room stinks. Uh, and I am eager actually to get this fixed. I want to go and request for somebody so that they can here I am positioning, basically. Here I am, what I'm doing here at this point in time, I am just uh, positioning the stuff in order, just as you have seen me on the video. We can do some video for 45 minutes. Why the hell not? Uh, basically, I am already inside of the room. Uh, let me just see this. The time right there you see is 18.53. And I am already inside of the room for 12 minutes, for 13 minutes already. So you get an idea when I arrive to this facility. Uh, you're going to get an idea about absolutely everything. When I live, what's going on, everything you get an idea by watching this stuff. It's not a big deal to finish this.
So there is not much to talk. Uh, I've been here for 16 minutes. Father is like this. And I said to him, based on the memories when he referred me to other people and something he never had any proof for other than the ability to isolate me from the world uh claim that i'm mentally ill <laughs> boy you must be fucking mentally ill if you have nothing other than a room that is three by three and whatever they give you to eat it's a hot tough stuff uh these are the issues i already have discussed about yeah we already discussed about these issues this goes to my early childhood and my grandfather he is all about it this is his my father does not uh, want to hear this stuff he's uh, gonna convince me i'm gonna look you see this stuff here with the ears what he is doing this is the stuff he brainwashed me to the urge that he's got a deep implant inside in other words that he's gonna have a bluetooth device not or uh, inside something like a cochlear implant, not exactly cochlear implant, but something similar to that. Uh, police insisted me issues like this. Psychiatrist Peter Kapsch insisted me issues like this. He will be looking at me. He will making like funny ways. Uh, that he was sure that he's going to convince me. I'm going to go and look into his ears. That's what he yeah. insisted. That he's got a stuff inside. That's what I should be looking into. No, we're not doing any of that stuff because okay. we don't want to make any kind of Means noise and stuff like this. It was about the feeding tube. Any time, expose himself to uh, stuff I already have discussed. I think he's going to have to have his diaper. Uh, there was an aunt over there that insisted that but my life for absolutely everything. Once he got him, and then so that it, the house could be worked out on the garden. I, mean, I think he's in there. Uh, it's, I think it's he's going to have to have his diapers. 30 minutes, uh, it's terrible. I rush. I go and I search entire floor. Uh, the second floor where I am, I go floor below. And I don't find anybody. I spent five minutes searching for employees. Uh, unfortunately, as I stated, somehow the telephone I had with me was not on. Actually, I think it was on, but when I tried to save the recording, there was no recording. Uh, they prided themselves with the stuff like this, whichever way they did. I have no idea. My telephones appear to have connection. Uh, I have found connections with devices uh, one of the phones had which i don't know uh, i would possess even once i cleared the telephone and reboot one and stuff like this uh, those devices and the bluetooth would not even uh, appear but before as soon as you would turn the telephone on it would be automatically the telephone would connect to that device it's all video recorded stuff i did not put online because i want to talk to somebody before doing that kind of stuff to, to know what I don't want to uh, just put the stuff on the internet, just any kind of stuff, but it was all kinds of crazy stuff. And I think this is one of them. Um, nobody is available. It's changed. And if not, he's going to have a heart. Nobody's available anywhere. Okay, so it stinks as hell, and I go to look for the nurse. There's nothing else. I said, you got a full pants, and I go and I search for uh, a nurse, basically. That's what I do. So I don't know, let me see this here. Okay, that's uh, 31.
hey, holy shit. Uh, it was 31. This is a six minutes already. I'm missing. Yeah, I was looking all over. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is basically one interesting issue here and stuff like that so, okay so i spent eight minutes and a half searching for assistance so that i would get somebody uh help with um a problem actually i don't do the job they do it but if they would request me help them i would help them too. i did stuff like this so i don't mind helping people this is not what this is all about I'm thankful to the people to help with this kind of issues. Uh, but I'm not thankful with what I'm about to demonstrate you have taken place, right? Let's go and let's see what exactly have taken place. Uh, I have stated here, in fact, to the father that mother stated, yeah, this is a uh, uh, minute uh, seven and 20 seconds. Uh, we're going to lock this stuff down. We're going to do it like this. Minute seven uh, and 20. Uh, mother stated to me, you are super today, but you don't look like so. And we're going to go to the next thing. Yeah, so I, I noticed that something was not okay. It smelled bad. So I, I want to talk to father. I ask him if we're going to see some movie, this and that. I don't know what we are up to today. I don't understand what I said right there, but it doesn't matter. Oh, I tell him you you picked a very 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 difficult, very difficult one. The route you have chosen is difficult. I uh, do talk to him about how it all started, his path, about my grandfather, uh, but there is nothing to worry about because he doesn't hear anything, you know. Thank you. 
Uh, I tell to my father about what this guy was talking about because my father wanted the feeling too. He, he wanted to, to be, uh, he, he liked the idea about the feeding tube also for the reasons I stated to you. Uh, and I'm not sure whether my father understood all about the feeding tube. Because under the feeding tube, is also another issue that was specified. And I don't think my father would agree to it. That's basically the issue that you could have a police officer during my absence. That you could have a police officer had home for elderly employee walk inside at any time during my absence and simply pull the tube at his convenience, at police convenience, at police request. So I want my father to understand completely, of course, only if he can hear me talking, the issue behind the feeding tube that he wanted to have. I don't think he understood everything about the feeding tube. There is some issue over there with this. Okay, father doesn't react, he's there, he doesn't care. Okay, fine. Uh, this is just a neighbor. This is a neighbor. He's. They have stayed in a lucid dreamer. This is uh, 1900 hours, I think. Which, by the way, we can check. It's not even going to be difficult. Yeah, this is 1900. We have everything coordinated. 1900 hours. Boom. 1900 hours. Let's continue with it. Okay, I am talking English language, basically the same thing I already have spoken to you about. This you can go over by yourself. Uh, this begins at uh, minute 30, doesn't matter to me this stuff. Uh, it smells very badly, and I notice that it's time to go and change absolutely the uh, diapers.
Uh, so what I do is I go. Yeah, obviously I did even smell to make sure that he does have. So I rush to get assistance. Um, nothing is available anywhere. I think this is a nurse I was talking to, and I asked her to please, uh, I, as I returned upstairs, uh, I found a nurse in her room, assistant of the nurse, she's Croatian. Uh, this lady was involved in MK Ultra. She is from the vicinity of Bela Kraina. Um, that would look like this, she's on a Croatian side of Bela Krajina, basically. Um, from what I recall this, this Croatian lady is, uh, for me, uh, I got a feeling that uh, She must have been somewhere from Euroski brought uh, Euroski brought or All right, I'm gonna know this immediately. Um, and I will not even change anything in respect to Euroski brought. Yeah, I am I, I am pretty comfortable with this answer. Uh, Euroski brought. I would even go all the way down to Netretic uh, area, uh, Vukova Gorica, uh, Vukova Gorica, but I will not. I am just going to go straight to the Euroski brought and will insist Euroski brought, Kamanje Euroski brought basically is what I am going to insist for this lady. I don't think Jakanje, but Euroski brought Kamanje, I would say. Uh, this part of uh, Slovenian Croatian border right here, uh, not too far from Karlovac. Uh, this area here basically is what I think this lady is. Uh, she promised me she's going to come and check on father. So I return to father shortly. Actually, Okay, so uh, I'm going to tell you what, I lost this much time searching for this lady, searching for a nurse, and when we look at that, how much time that is, uh, this is at least seven minutes of time searching for these people all over this uh, second floor and the floor below, and I could not find them absolutely anywhere. Now, I met the lady here. It's 41.22 is the time. 41.22. We're just going to write down here. 
41-22, assistant nurse was advised about father is need to have diapers replaced. That's all. Uh, she said she's going to come there shortly. As I returned to the room, uh, quite some time passed before she actually appeared. Uh, and that was an interesting meeting, boy, once she appeared. Let's see how that went along. Okay. So I'm back inside of the room. I'm now with the father. She promised me, the Croatian lady promised me she's going to come. This much time passed. Uh, so we're talking about another one, two, three, four, five or so minutes, okay? Uh, the Croatian lady comes now. Um, the Croatian lady comes. Um, I ask her uh, to please uh, assist with with uh, this issue, with the hygiene issue. Uh, the Croatian lady, however, says, I will, I cite her, she says, I will not steal the precious minutes from you. Uh, wow. Uh, I will not steal the precious minutes from you? Hmm. Let's uh, think about this stuff. Uh, I have been practically with a father now for like over 40 minutes, and it stinks. The whole room stink, and now it really stinks, and I get an answer that she would not be stealing from me a precious minutes. Um, I assure her that it is, uh, however, okay, is not stealing any precious minutes from me. I will wait for her outside if she prefers me to, whatever she prefers me to. Uh, but uh, she disappears insists me in the face that will, for my sake, yeah, if you understand this logic, it will, for my sake, uh, take more time uh, until I actually leave, till I actually finish the visit, yeah? So this was not what I had in my mind, and in a very shortly, uh, you will hear me talking to a male nurse. So this is a female from Croatia, a lady just about to retire, who also stated me will not give any shit about whatever will go on. Uh, she also advised me during MK Ultra that if I'm going to recognize father as guilty and such, that I shouldn't even pay him a visit and talk to him that in Croatia they don't do the stuff like this and so on with the people like that and this and that. Uh, they use all kinds of psychiatrists, better cops, Slovenian police use all kinds of scenarios to keep me away. But to keep me away, it was also, again, other issues Slovenian police, psychiatrists have used. Uh, they wanted to turn the case against me as per my being the one who got father in the hospital, as per my being guilty for it, uh, if possible. Uh, even proved during the visits through what was used MK Ultra and father's behavior on my being possibly even aggressive toward him, abusive, 
Uh, and if not paying visits to him is someone who doesn't care for one and have even went on to abuse an issue that they would remove him, destroy him, that I don't need him, and I don't know what else. Oh, deep stuff. The next thing, of course, I'm going to request assistance from the male nurse. I assure my father that they're going to clean him now and he's going to have a good night's sleep. Uh, this is very beneficial because it can be heard better here, our conversation. It can be heard clearly. Okay. Uh, I'm not losing time when she uh, 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 insists on my. Uh, I, I would feel better if I see him clean at least. Uh, so what I do is I have the word. Uh, to request assistance from another nurse. Informing the personnel, nobody I could find anywhere. No, uh, it's probably when they change themselves. But not about, she just, something I mean. Some employee torture post. Do. Okay, now this is truly insane. Uh, in between what you're about to hear, the telephone appears was off. But I didn't waste time. Uh, this here is me actually arguing with a male nurse here. Uh, 
because I did not agree with any anything uh, the lady had to say, uh, basically in respect to uh, the visit, so that I should even cut one short, leave, so that father would be changed into a clean clothing. Uh, that's the kind of idea that simply doesn't appeal to me. I prefer to see one clean before I live, but they try to enforce this in a different ways. So what I do is I step out in a hallway and I meet with a male nurse. As for this issue, it probably starts right here. For that matter, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to amplify this not only once, but on a several occasions to see if I can produce something better than that. Uh, the male nurse on duty uh, was a guy that appeared to me during MK Ultra was trying to impose on me his, uh, like, he acted like a, with authority. He appeared to me like he craved for me to recognize in him authority or something like that. Uh, and it just didn't happen on the 22nd, October of 2023, when he insisted me uh, on how it's all going to be taken care of, this and that, without even giving me a chance to explain him what exactly took place. Yeah, because I don't want to have arguments with the people. I just want to communicate with the people. Uh, but we'll also not take when talking to someone that will simply disregard me, disrespect me like she did, uh, repeatedly disregard me with belief that I'm going to actually set her for less than nothing, like whatever we throw at you is okay, uh, and have instead give him a little lesson about what he didn't want to hear, and it was related to the incident I had just had with uh, his assistant, with this female nurse from Croatia, assistant nurse from Croatia. Uh, I pointed him out. Uh, he didn't want to hear this, but I pointed him out that I was trying to talk to her about having the father cleaned uh, prior to my departure, about how long he's been waiting for uh, to have, you know, uh, to assist him and what exactly I was suggested uh, as per very unacceptable, basically, that very sarcastic, you know, I'm not going to be stealing your minutes. You know, in a smelly room, you're telling me you're not going to be seeing uh, precious minutes with my loved one, with my father. It's very cynic, very sadistic, uh, and it's almost unprofessional. Uh, it really does not concern you about what clearly appears is the issue I am discussing on the blog. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, what on what lady insisted me how I should pursue my father really is none of her business, not is any business of any employee inside of this home for elderly people other than what to provide basically what they are paid for. That's all there is to it. They are doing stuff that is contrary to their job description duties and a sticky nose into the matters that are none of their business. They clearly violate the law. And the attitude I got is very, very inappropriate. So all I want to do at this point is to hear, assure me that my father, that they actually understood. I don't know whether they're going to go and clean my father. I don't know what's going to happen at this point in time. But I am audio recording this stuff, and all I want to do is make sure that he understood the incident 
was the nature of the incident was passed to him because he's the one who was responsible. This is a nurse and she is assistant nurse. So that's all I want to do. I just wanted him to register exactly what just took place. That's all there is to it. Uh, as for the rest, it's other people who take care. I'm not there to argue with absolutely anybody. That's all I did. That's all I wanted to get. I just want him to hear and this and that. Now, the guy was looking for something else. He was looking for incident. He would continue to turn around and like he's going to walk away without even listening to what I have to say in the middle of what I started and so on. So that too was inappropriate and he did not manage to obtain any kind of reaction from me to which he exercised this stuff. He tortured during MKUltra on this issue and he also anticipated reaction from me that I'm going to go and hey, and this and that. I don't do that kind of stuff. So once I pass him the nature of the incident, the only thing I do is I turn around and I return to father. That's all I do. Uh, a nurse, a male nurse, they're going to write down 50 and 18 seconds. Male nurse was notified about incident. Uh, lady stated me will not steal a uh, precious minutes from me with my loved one. Despite my mentioning her, how her room also stinks. Uh, the male nurse haven't done absolutely anything about it. She did not take any steps to correct the mistake. Uh, and at this point, uh, I am still being separated time wise uh, from a bad smell for another, we're going to see this. I returned to the room. I did not manage to accomplish anything. I am with the father. I'm still waiting. And it happened so that I continue to wait um, for another, let's say, one, two, three, four, five minutes more. Let's see what's going to happen. I, I, give, I started to give English a report. Uh, this is a part number two. Uh, it can be visible in part number two. Because this stuff is visible in the part number two, I'm going to uh, Uh, the lady comes inside of the room after 10 minutes, more than 10 minutes, one, two, three, four, uh, this is, what is this, five, let's see this, actually 10, more, more, uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, let's see this. Okay, this is crazy. Uh, <laughs> she comes to me after, you know, waiting for her. Uh, that's 10, 20. Wow, another 30 minutes. I haven't heard from anybody from these people. I have notified on how father has to be cleaned up. All this here that you see. Okay. Now she comes into the room. And you know what she does to me? Uh, she says to me like this, she says, uh, would you please answer the phone? And she hands me the phone, her phone, and she is online with reception, with a security guard, with the receptionist, who is advising me that it's time to leave. However, I'm smart enough to tell her, okay, 
that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm actually placing everything in my backpack. You can hear me. Uh, you, can, you can hear me right here. You can hear me placing everything inside of the bag before she, before she appears. Okay. Uh, she appears right here. And this stuff here, it's actually the stuff, this here. This is the stuff that you can hear me packing up the stuff. So once you see me packing up the stuff and she approaches to me, the time is 1942, which also is confirmed through a video recording that you see here. 1942 it is. You, you can see me walking back and forth, fixing the things. On that back yeah. right there. Uh, one of the here I do the recap. And then what I do is I start picking up, cleaning the stuff. Look. Yes uh, or no? We'll not know whether they did replaced here. Thing. Yeah, I'm doing the stuff. I'm cleaning the stuff. I started to do the stuff, pick up the stuff and so on. And while I'm doing this stuff, no? Uh, she approaches to me and she hands me the phone. There you go. She said, sir, a uh, security guard. No, so I repeat the time. It's 1942 and I'm about to leave. That's right. They close at 1945. Okay. Um, it, it's just she disregarded her duties. Uh, and is handing me a phone. Uh, I, I can see that they're looking up for something else to create an incident or something like this. So what I do is I kindly answer the phone, uh, politely tell her I'm leaving and this and that. And that's about it. That's about the end of the video. That's all there is to this. No, I advised her that I sorted out everything I'm about to leave. That's all. Okay, so that's basically it. That was my visit. What's also interesting to note, uh, once I went down to the lobby, Pusa me na alti boja tvoje, tvoje stvari je zdaj. La pusa me lahko noč, ja. Tako. La pusa me, adio. And that's about it, we're leaving, uh, bye I'm bye. Without even knowing whether they're going to replace him, the stuff or not. And I see, uh, just as I stated, I, I, I don't even know whether he's going to be clean that night or not for the night, what's going on. I see that assistant nurse just walk through the door, probably to ensure that he would sleep in a clean diapers. That's all there is. That's not very commendable uh, on their behalf. So what we're going to do is we're going to also write down here, uh, I should say at the time, but yes. Yeah, we're going to put down here 105, it's going to be uh, 05, uh, assistant nurse comes to offer me a phone call from receptionist, yeah, uh, which asks me to 
live before building will close for the day at 19.45 hours. That's all. That's all the rest of it. And that's the kind of stuff I'm going to put you, the stuff that should build your interest in respect to what went incident-wise on. Uh, of course, I have also told you what I have discussed, uh, tried to discuss with the father, who, however, cannot hear because he's deaf. Uh, that evening on October the 22nd of 2023. All I'm going to do is I'm going to thank you very much uh, for your patience if you have stayed with me and here I'm going to demonstrate my being out of the door of the building. Yeah, I went to the restroom at the receptionist area because I haven't seen her at the reception. She was standing next to the alarm panel, actually next to the clock, where they clock the time whenever they entered. I think as the workers, they have to click clock the time when they enter, a report at work, basically. Yeah, so I haven't seen her. And because I haven't seen her, I assume that I'm going to have to wait for somebody who's going to come in as well as mine. I said to myself, I'm going to use the restroom in the lobby area, at the entrance area where receptionist is also located. However, she was there, I realized. And she said, yeah, I was waiting for you. So I said, well, thank you very much. And then in that case, have a good night. Bye-bye. And that was it. All right. You are going to get this audio. Um, so let me see that stuff. So you're going to get this audio. Uh, I am going to make sure. Uh, it's going to look precisely like this. I'm going to serve you below. It's going to be like that, this, and like this. Makes sense. Um, what is this audio? Let's see it from a little bit closer. The original audio recording is under the record 3042. Uh, yeah, I don't have anything else I would say to that. What you will access, however, will look like this. And I'm not going to lose more time on this stuff. Uh, for those of you that want to have this stuff translated on your own, I was taught by some governments on how they do, will do just that. I am going to make easy work for your translators by just taking this stuff out, spreading this a little bit like that. And I'm basically dumping you this information here which should help to your translators as far as the takeouts on this video. All right, so I can do that. That's about the end of it. Uh, this is your point with me, just like this. That's all you're going to get, and you're going to get the original audio, this entire audio. Uh, that's going to be in a separate, obviously, in a separate file. I am not going to go and play the whole thing again, uh, but you're going to access the original audio file right below this stuff. What can I say? Uh, I am going to look into this matter here. This is already two hours long video in three minutes. The only thing that's left for me to do <laughs> uh, would be to take a date and time. 
and that's that basically thanks for watching this video see you next time